Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking Samsung dryers and in today's video, the step-by-step -step process on how to replace your drive motor. Let's get started. Step one, safety first, always cut all electrical power to your dryer. Go ahead and unplug your power cord. And from here on the back side, if yours is like ours, you have two Phillips screws. Go ahead and remove those you're gonna be able to shift this whole cover plate off. The screws themselves are pretty short. Go ahead and set those aside. And from here, you can carefully shift your cover plate back and carefully remove this and set it in a safe location. Next, you have these plastic tabs that go into their connection points. Again, they're plastic. Do not break them, just carefully pop them out of their connection points. Down in there, you have an additional tab right there, and there is a tab on each side. The trick with those is carefully shift up on this panel, again carefully because you're working with plastic, and with one hand on each side shifting this panel up, you can remove those tabs from the slots and rotate this panel outward toward you. And as you pull this panel back, some of you may run into what I ran into, and right down here you have plastic tabs that go into these cutouts here. There's two of them here and here. And as you try to remove this panel, it will get stuck on those, so what I do is I got this long little teeny rod. You can use whatever you want to. However, I insert it in here and got underneath that tab and carefully applied just a little bit of pressure to release it from the cutouts there. From here, we are going to carefully remove these connection points. In this case, you push down on this and remove that, and you'll do the same for here. From here, we can set the control panel in a safe location. With your panel removed, open up your dryer door. And you've got Phillips screws, one, two, three, and four. Go ahead and remove those. From here, go ahead and close your door. And four additional Phillips screws on the top. Go ahead and remove all four screws. After removing those four screws, you have pressure tabs here that hold your panel in place. Just go ahead and compress those, and it will release this. And you'll have one on each side. And I recommend holding this panel with both hands as you do this. After releasing those pressure tabs on the back side, be very careful you have an electrical connection point. Go ahead and carefully remove that. And from here, you can pull up on the panel and remove it. And down at the bottom, you do have little slots that it goes into. And again, just carefully set it aside. After setting that panel aside, come down below, you've got three screws. Again, fill it, and we wanna remove this part. After removing those screws, you will shift this portion down until you remove it. Direct your attention to this connection point here. Carefully push down on that tab there, and as you push down, shift the two connection points apart. Back up top, and what we wanna do is remove this entire upper mount here. And we've got a Phillips screw here, here, there, upper right-hand corner, and lower right-hand corner. Pull your panel up and out. Be very careful. On the back side, you have wiring in these little tie straps. And these are very user friendly. All you have to do is undo these little plastic tabs there and pull the wiring out. I set the panel aside, and you still have an additional wiring connection here. You can loosen that up. And you just want to get this untangled and out of the way. Just shift it up here where it's not going to get harmed at all throughout the remaining portion of the project. Next, coming down below, YouTubers, this is probably the most tricky portion, and you have your idler pulley way back there. As you can see, that white circle or roller, and you've got your belt, and you've got to reach in there, and you'll notice a spring right there. You will push that pulley away from you, which will ultimately put more tension on the spring, and you can carefully remove the belt from the idler pulley. And I recommend prior to doing that, take as many photos as you can so you know exactly how the belt will go back on. There is a motor down below that it loops around as well as that upper idler pulley. Back up top you've got four mounting screws that hold this entire portion in place. Two on each side. Go and remove those. And to remove those screws you have these little tabs here that actually as you lift this portion up you can remove it from its little slot and be very careful. Grab this with both hands so you don't drop it. And the way this works YouTubers you have rollers on the back side and this is the portion i just pulled it off 
this actual drum rests on those rollers. So as you pull this part away from your dryer, your drum will actually fall just slightly. Back up top and same thing, you've got rollers on the backhand side and I'm going to put my entire arm in here, lift up and carefully pull this entire drum out of the dryer. And be very careful, don't allow that belt to catch on anything. At this point, we have much better access to all of the internal parts and there is your motor that we are going to be replacing. About a month ago, we replaced this idler pulley. In the event that your dryer is making a whistling sound or loud screaming sound, it's usually one of two things. Most of the time, it's your idler load pulley or it is these rollers. However, let's continue with the motor removal and we are going to remove these two Phillips screws to remove this. After removing those screws, carefully pull this cap up and off. And inside here is your fan, and we are going to vacuum all of that dust out of there. This bolt here, it has a loosen pointing to the right and fasten pointing to the left. What does that mean? That means that nut and bolt thread is reverse thread. Make sure you take that into consideration. I grab my socket and an extension and the 14 millimeter long socket that is going on the inner nut inside the fan. On the back side, I've got a 22 millimeter that actually goes over that portion of your motor where your belt was. Go ahead and put that in place. And I have a block down here that will take the pressure of turning this so I don't damage any of that bottom aluminum portion of the dryer. Again, turning right will actually loosen that nut. After loosening it up, you can remove the ratchet and basically pull this nut all the way off by hand again. Turning right loosens it up. To the back side, carefully remove that. Next, remove your electrical connection point. On the top side, push down. On the bottom side, push up. That is going to release the locking clips, as you can see here, and just carefully shift it off. Now we need to remove these securing clips that secure the motor to the mount. And you'll notice the rear clip is installed the complete opposite as your front clip. Take that into consideration. I wanna change camera angles to show you. To remove these clips, you'll notice a tab right there, this little portion here. Apply downward pressure and you can carefully shift it off of that tab. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. And what I'll do is grab pliers just to make it a little easier, just like that. You'll do the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction for the front clip. This step can be annoying because it is very common. Your actual fan gets stuck on that threaded bolt that comes off your motor. So carefully with one hand on this side and another hand on this side, basically just rock it back and forth. Do your best not to break it until it comes off. Had to set the camera down and do a little bit of tugging. However, it is off. From here, you should be able to conveniently shift this motor out of the dryer and Set that in a safe location. Let's go get the new motor. New parts in the box, let's go ahead and open it. Secured in this box pretty good with some packaging. Go ahead and carefully remove that and pull it out of the box. New motor should go in the exact same way the old motor came out. Next, verify your motor is resting properly inside the lower mount slots there as shown here. From here, we'll grab those clips and secure the motor. After securing your clips, grab your electrical connection point and re-secure that and verify your locking clips are in place, properly secured. After securing that connection point, I recommend vacuuming the entire internal portion there. I also vacuumed underneath here when the old motor was removed. From here, take a look at the shape of your insert. Line it up properly. You'll notice it has a flat spot. Carefully shift this in place and on to the internal stud. From here, we'll grab that nut and secure it. And again, turning left is going to tighten it. To firmly secure the nut, here's how I have this set up. I've got the block repositioned and the 22 millimeter socket and ratchet positioned as shown. Reinsert this cover and secure it with the two Phillips screws. At this point, verify everything is properly installed and secured. And then you can go grab the drum. With the belt on, we'll lift this drum up, reinsert it, and rest it on those rollers. Drum is now back in place, and I just want to show you what the belt is supposed to look like. With the idler pulley, you can't see the lower pulley that's on the motor. However, it loops around that, and that's what it's supposed to look like. Hopefully, this may be a better view of it. However, again, just make sure you take pictures and know exactly how this belt goes back on. After securing the belt, come up top and give it one full rotation or revolution. Make sure that belt is in 
this groove here. After that, grab your panel and we will insert those rollers on the bottom portion. And as we do this, we will carefully lift up on the drum to properly set those rollers in place. And again, as you do this, just carefully lift up on the drum to allow those rollers to get underneath it and realign your tabs that are on your mounting bracket and they go into the respective slot. And from here, grab all four screws and secure them. After securing those four screws, direct your attention to your wiring and re-secure them in those little twist straps there. And remember what this goes to. This goes to your actual front panel. So this will actually droop through this little indent here and hang that carefully there. And these will feed through the upper mount. Mount is re-secured, five screws, one, two, three, four and five. Electrical wiring comes out here and there's that. From here, let's go down below, grab the cover to our ducting and re-secure that. Go ahead and secure it with your three screws. And next, secure your connection point for your moisture sensor. Time to put on the front panel and you've got cutouts down at the bottom and they will rest over these little tabs here. And as you shift this in place, connect your electrical connection. Carefully shift this in place and push the connection in until you hear the clicking sound. Realign the top portion until it goes into the pressure tabs. Next, go ahead and resecure your four upper Phillips screws. Open the door and you've got four additional screws. And if yours is like ours, the lower two screws had washers on them. From here, we're going to go grab the control panel. With the control panel back in place, go ahead and resecure the right hand connection points. And just be patient as you realign your control panel. Make sure all of your connection tabs are properly in place and secure. From here, we'll go grab the top. After reapplying your top panel, go ahead and re-secure the rear Phillips screws. Go ahead and plug in your dryer, and we've got a load ready to go. We're going to turn it on and see if the sound has gone away. And a significant difference. So we'll pause that. And we'll end by saying, hopefully this helps. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.